I'll tell you a funny story of how I prep myself for this podcast. But like what you see, how you see yourself a lot of time mm. is not how other people see you. And of course, when your friends tell you, it's like, oh, they're not telling you the truth because they are your friends, right? So I had to, to prepare for this podcast. What I had to do is I ended up giving myself the biggest challenge. Last year in November, I ended up interviewing a um, brand strategist. Uh, he was a TEDx speaker. He owned his own company. He's a brand. He's a branding expert. Sasha Stroud is his name. And I could have given, I mean, he's a, you know, he's big in the, in the space. So I could, have, I took his webinar and we connected. I guess one of the things he was like, I'm very persistent. If you have to use the name, I would just keep asking and asking. And that's a nothing venture, nothing gain. And one time he asked me, do you, can I help you with your vision? So I'm like, I haven't developed one yet. <laughs> you know, I need to figure out exactly what I want. But I invited him to uh, a virtual water cooler chat. And that was just something that I came up in the middle of pandemic because I didn't yeah. want to use that, uh, you know, coffee or anything like that for wellness reason, right? So I was like, oh, virtual water cooler chat. People don't go into the office. Now they can just do it virtually. So I invited him, and for many other virtual water cooler chat, I would actually invite practitioners to go speak because I wasn't confident enough that I could carry on that conversation. But then for this one, I was like, hey, I'm going to have to start a podcast. Might as well start now. I don't think he's going to let me fail. So all four, uh, Ed, who is Simon Sinek, does not like to use the word fail. Falling is better. You know, yeah. this fall, you can get up. Yeah. And um, so I invited him and he was like, of course, we did the prep. And um, and I told Caitlin, I said, why are you going to do this LinkedIn and Facebook Live? And she was like, are you sure? I'm like, yep, I'm sure. Because as a business owner, as a minor minority woman, it doesn't really matter. I have to be comfortable in the space. Yes. If not, who else is going to, I mean, I don't need everybody to come and hire me because I want to have my wellness, my wellness <laughs> and work-life balance, right? So I would say yeah. no to people. But that was the one that I was petrified before we got on. But once you turn on the LinkedIn and the Facebook Live, I was a able to carry on a conversation. And because of that, <laughs> I was. I always said that. Oh, I did not tank. So now, <laughs> so now I have done probably about nine or ten interviews already, and nice. this is only what January twenty fourth. You know, yeah. we started in December. I have done ten interviews already, wow. and this has been so fun. And I'm like, you know what? Even if I like, you know, for this we we can, you know, it it's just getting to know people and knowing there are other people that are maybe just as nervous as you are. And then having that common ground and encourage each other and letting people have their voice. And I think that's what virtual water cooler chat is about. 